hello on today's video we'll be visiting the texas sea life center where they rescue sea turtles tortoises and birds that need help we hope you enjoy the video what did you see Angel? i see i can see turtles tortoise turtles Hey, dude. So give me some fin. Noggin. Dude. 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 On to the next one. Jump, baby. <laughs> Whack. <laughs> have a name. Her name is Honu, which is Hawaiian for sea turtle. Fortunately for Honu, she did get pneumonia, which caused air to build up in her shell. A lot of people ask why we don't just stick something in there and suck all that air out. Well, it's near her spinal column and lungs. So doing that actually puts her at more risk. With that air, it's pretty much like having a permanent flotation device. She is also missing her left flipper, but that's okay. You can legally release a sea turtle as long as they have one working flipper on each side of their body. So in theory, she would be able to move forward if it just wasn't for that air. So our species of sea turtle are carnivorous. Unlike the green sea turtles, these guys do actually eat an assortment of fish and squid, but she also has a beak near the front of her face, so she can dig into crustaceans if she feels fit. So she can't dive. She cannot dive. Those are like little birds. So, right over here we have our kestrels, Vincent and Vanessa. These birds fly all the way from Canada to Mexico, so they do have a very long flight. But these two, they sustain wing injuries. So they can't fly, but they won't make it one fourth of that wave. Vanessa's the one showing off right there, with that tiger stripe pattern. And Vincent's right up there with more of that orange and dotted pattern. He has actual coloration, so he can show off for females. Can you see it? And when we brought him here, he's very interested in Vanessa. She could have cared less. So. We're not going to have no Kestrel babies anytime soon. They're just kind of awkward roommates. The only rules that they have is that Vanessa will always come first. And if she doesn't, she actually doesn't fit. So. <laughs> these guys are red-footed tortoises. Um, these were owned by an elderly woman for a while. But she somehow managed to get them to eat proteins. I don't know how you managed to get a herbivore to eat proteins, but they did. So this causes this to form. This is called pyramiding. What it does is it makes the shell less sound and more hollow. So if they did have predators here, they'd be able to get through that thick shell way easier. But since they had nothing here, it just kind of looks like Godzilla, and she just has little itty bitty spikes on her. So like, you guys can't touch the top of her shell. You can't touch the dinosaur? That's not a dinosaur. Yes. It's a turtle. That's wet. It's Godzilla! Mini Godzilla! <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at this chicken. Yeah, but we sometimes feed them smaller birds. Circle of life, baby. <laughs> so right over here, we have Artemis, our crested cara cara, otherwise known as the Mexican flagbird. These birds are both scavengers and birds of prey because they have no feathers around their beaks. If they find digging into a dead body way more appetizing than hunting live prey, that's what they'll go ahead and do. So we found Artemis on a golf course. She had a broken wing, and by the time we got to it, it had already grafted in properly. Up there, sitting up on that perch, is missing his eye, while this one right here, closer to y'all, is missing his wing. Oh, well, I... That one's without the eye. I can see with one eye. He always just has one side of his head turned to everyone. The other side of his head is never really facing people, because he's looking at you with the eye that's working. Since they're like, almost like a horse, and they have something right down the center of their face, they're able to kind of split off in Mr. direction. Neil Patrick. So, he's perfectly fine. Hey, bird. Hey, bird. What's up, my guy? Right over here, we have our female Texas tortoises, and my personal little favorite one right here, this little little, little baby. You got Ben? No. I haven't gotten That's her used to it. human touch yet. Uh, I'm still trying to get her through the enrichment to try and get her used to humans. Oh, uh, she's so small. Really cute. She's so small. So the other three, Female awesome. Texas tortoises in here were actually just found here, and rather than relocating them, we just decided to keep them here. 
This one, though, is brought to us because, as you can see, she's going through her own stage of pyramiding right here. So you can see the gaps in between the shells, but we're trying to correct that as much as we can. This little girl, though, I'm trying to get her used to human affection and all that, as I mostly do with some of the other animals. She's shaking her head. Yeah, she's probably not very happy. <laughs> Him. So we don't know why this guy has a taste for human flesh, but he does. We actually didn't find him. Someone just left him on our porch. So one day we just opened up our front door and voila, this guy was sitting there. So we've had him ever since. These guys only get about this big and they live for about 100 years. So he's not going anywhere anytime soon. And to be completely honest, I think that's what plays into that anger. Because if I was that small, looked like that, and lived for that long, I'm not sure I'd be happy eating. <laughs> so, he's trying to eat your shoe. He's trying to eat your shoe. He just does this. Okay, As, that's enough. <laughs> As you can see, there's not really much he can do once I got him in this state. He's just kind of, he's done for now. But he can wiggle and thrash all he wants. But he's a biter as well. Oh yeah, he'll even try and get my finger. Oh. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> go back. You gotta go back. Yep. <laughs> and he'll do this for however long he wants. And what's what's the Texas tortoise and Russian tortoise diet? Oh, um, these guys are all both herbivores. Herbivores. We don't just don't know what's wrong with him. <laughs> <laughs> he is nom, nom, clearly nom. an omnivore. But... <laughs> He's got a dinosaur. <laughs> so this is a skink. A They're pretty much oh. just snakes with Liz, uh, with arms. Oh. Oh. oh yeah. I'll bite it. Mom, I'm bite does it. he bite? Uh, this one doesn't, but the other one does. Is oh, there's two in there? Yeah. So oh. this is Mando. The other kids? one's name is Grogu. Does he like kids? Mando and Grogu. I don't want to touch it. Yeah. No. But you don't want to pet him? What's in here? In here is another. In there oh. is another monitor. Oh, the snake for sure, a snake. He's got snakes. It feels like a snake. Yeah, gently, I'm trying gently, to get him used to more human, or just like to finger. more people. So, this is actually pretty good that I'm getting out. Come on, Angel. This one, though, has been here for only a year, and I wasn't expecting him to be as calm with me as he is. The other one, Grogu right there, tends to actually bite, and I have bite marks on me. Oh my god! Are they fast? They can try and be. Oh. <laughs> I wish them luck. I want to see them try it out. Yeah, right. okay, okay. But they're not they're not like brown and oles or No, they're not gonna get away from me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is Sally. Sally's taking a drink. Mm. Mm. Get your drink on, Sally. I mean you got a lot. You could chug. And a little gift shop, some little trinkets, t shirts. Ahsoka is a rare breed of ball python that's called a spider morph. Pretty much, you only get this kind of morph through a lot of inbreeding. So she actually has a lot of neurological issues. She actually has this thing where she'll constantly look up towards the sky. Or if you have her wrapped around her, she'll turn upside down and then go up. What? Is there a dead rat? That's her food. That's, that's, I do not have rats. Uh, we just have them. Have you guys had an issue with have them having their own preference between like frozen and live? Not really. No? Usually we don't feed them live. We okay. only do that if we know they're going to be released, which none of these guys are going to be released. These are actually all either our boss's animals or yeah. okay. just kept here. So, but Soka doesn't even know she's a snake, so I'm not even sure she understands preferences. I don't oh, even okay. think she knows she's an actual <laughs> animal. I think she just thinks she's like a pizza silly string. Because oh. she does not know what she's doing. <laughs> Is this a tortoise school? Mm -hmm. I never seen one.